to show you how you can make a really interesting candle holder or a little lantern with an empty jar, clean glass jar, and what's called glass gems. You can find them at craft stores. And they're like little flat-backed, rounded pieces of glass that you can use in craft projects. Now, you can use clear ones. Um, you can use ones that are different colors. These are a little big for covering this little jar that I have, but they would work well for a bigger jar. And the nice thing about doing this is once you've got the gems glued all the way around the jar, once you put a candle in, whether it's a little tea light or maybe one of those electric battery powered tea lights, all of those bits of glass are going to like amplify the light that's coming out of it. So it's really kind of cool. It works well either indoors or if you wanted to set these up as little luminaries for the holidays, you could do that too. Might not work so well on a really cold night, but if it's not a super cold night, you can give it a try. So you need a jar, you need your glass gems, and you need a glue gun. So let's get started. Okay, so we've got our glue gun heated up, and what I'm going to do is a row of three of them from top to bottom, and I'm starting at the top because they might be a little bit tight here. And what I'm going to do is just do a few glue rings and go ahead and work on these. So let's just pop them right on top of that glue, press them down. And then we can do the next set. Let's do the next set. And don't worry if you get some glue strands, like a sticky spider web from all your back and forth. You can always clean those off at the end. You don't have to fuss with them just yet. We'll get to it. are noisy. Sorry. Now if you had multiple colored ones you could probably do some really cool patterns with them. And if you don't want to do them all back to back to back you don't have to. Thank you. 
If this at least gives you the basics of an idea you want to try at home, great! You certainly don't have to replicate everything exactly as I do it. I want to make sure you have fun doing these things. All right, room for one more row. Probably gonna have some open space here, and that's okay. All right. So we've got our jar covered with these glass gems, and then you can just go around and pull off the glue threads. It's kind of fun, actually. There you go. So just let it sit and make sure everything sets up okay. And then you're ready to pop in a little tea light, whether it's with a flame or with an electric flame, your choice, and watch it glow. That'll be fun. It is a little on the heavy side once you've added all these glass gems, so handle it carefully, but go wild. Have fun with it. Hope you give this a try at home, whether you do it with different colors, different jars, different patterns, totally up to you. But in the meantime, stay healthy, be kind, and get creative. Bye.